Square Baboon Consulting here to go into detail about what Joe talked about in one of his videos with shared call appearance or share line appearance. We're going to go ahead and set this up from the back end using our eMetrotel UCX system. So what is shared call appearance? What is shared line appearance? Joe gives a good video on demonstrating exactly that. It's making all the phones look as if they have the same line. Line one, for example. So let's go ahead and set this up. First things first, let's go to our PBX and make sure that we've got a trunk set up. So we're gonna go trunk providers and I've got this trunk here called flow route that I'm gonna go ahead and use. So if I go into my PBX configuration and I look at my inbound routes, I've got flow route in here is what I've called it. And you can see it's just got a simple description. It's got the DID that's gonna pick up the incoming call. And then it's got here a shared calls tag. So I've called this SCG1 for my shared call group one. Pretty simple so far, right? Now that I've got that set up, I wanna go ahead and make sure that I've got all these changes applied. And you can see here, it rings a bunch of different phones. Uh, it doesn't have to ring any phone to be honest though, because it's gonna ring that shared call group once it comes in as well. But I've got it go ahead and ringing all of my desk phones. So I'm gonna submit those changes. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go look at the Nortel features of my two phones that I want the shared call appearance on. So I've got an 1120E here. And if I scroll down, we can see Line one is the way that it's labeled, and we've got SCA colon one for shared call appearance, one, and then an at sign, followed by whatever we called our shared call group, so SCG one in this case. So I've got line one is the key label, SCA colon one at the group SCG one. So what I'm gonna do is actually take that and copy it to the clipboard, because the next phone I set up won't actually have this. So there's the 1220. We're gonna go down and look at the 1220 here and there's no label set up yet. So we're gonna go shared call appearance line one and the digits is the SCA colon one at SCG colon one. I submit these changes and I go ahead and apply the configuration. And now both of my phones, the 1120 and the 1220, both have that shared call line and they're incoming on that inbound route associated with flow route. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and transfer over to the other camera and show you exactly what it looks like. All right, here we are to demonstrate the shared call line appearance on the 1120E. You can see below page Joe there on the left, we've got line one. And as we go over here and look at the 1220, we've got SCA line one that we just set up in the UCX's UI. So we're gonna go ahead and make a call into that telephone number and see what happens. So the phone starts ringing. You've got SCA line one lit up now and it's flashing. Over here on the 1120E, we've got the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up line one and I'm gonna say, hello. Uh, yeah, just a second, you wanna speak to Joe? Yep, hold on. So we're gonna go ahead and put that caller on hold. And once they're on hold, we're gonna pick up another line. And Paige. Are you there? Are you there? Joe, Joe line, line one. one. Joe, Joe line, line one. one. So now we go over here and Joe's waiting for the call on line one. So Joe goes ahead and hits shared call line one. And now he's actually got the caller on his side. So without having to worry about knowing transfer from the 1120E, we simply put the caller on hold and using shared call appearance or shared line appearance, we can simply transfer the call using uh, hold. Again, Justin from Square Baboon Consulting using my eMetrotel UCX system. If you've got any questions, feel free to go ahead and get a hold of Joe or myself. Thanks again for watching.